Hello, how are you? I hope you are doing great. And uh, I am presenting one more piece, or actually three more pieces for my shop. Um, these are the three flower, flower press travel botanical journals that I actually... These are combos of a junk journal, a travel journal and a flower press. These ones are without handles. I mean, without uh, straps that um, were added to the previous line, I decided to make them this type of uh, journals. Maybe they will be also quite co convenient for someone who prefers to, to carry bags with them and they don't need the straps. Um, but uh, all of them are made with a different type of heavyweight cotton. It's closer to denim cotton, uh, which says, you know, Glexinia, Tradiscansia, plants, and actually it's also very, very botanical thing. Foliage and so on. Uh, let me show them. The main principle is just the same as you um, probably might have seen in the previous flower press journal a video, and uh, it's about the convenience and it's about uh, being handy. This time I decorated the strings with the closures with a little bit of uh, it's a kind of a bead or a topper or anything like that and it's just for the sake of decoration and the string is quite good it's quite tight but anyway when it gets loose you can actually replace it with a stronger one this is a pocket on the front uh, you know I decided to add uh, pockets to this line more pockets because uh, as well and just for carrying some tools that you use for picking flowers and plants or uh, some mm, some plant or twig if you pick a twig it's it's more comfort convenient to put it here rather than to put it inside and break the pages or just deform um, distort the pages inside so this one is with the black card this is going to be one uh, flower press one mm, I will think about the name for that um, also as you can see the edges are worn and the strings are not always fixed because uh, with time it will get even more worn um, so it's just to make the general style it shouldn't be like dirty it shouldn't look dirty it should look worn and used and uh, being very very loved some more cementation and this is the back part and uh, back side also just the same plain uh, plain cover it's made with a hard stock inside because it should have a very flat good tight effect to keep your plants tight inside and flat. One more pocket for anything flat that you would like to add there. Uh, some extra probably pieces or pages or some tissue paper that you might probably use to make layers for your plants. So once again I would like to remember to remind you the function, uh, the main function of these journals. Uh, it's for taking notes, it's for being comfortable for wearing, when taking with you, not wearing, uh, well, um, taking it with you anywhere you would like to travel to and keep your hands quite free. And uh, I made the construction as, co as convenient for flower pressing as possible because this is something that I keep doing all the time every flower season. Uh, the construction is supposed to be handy with a, a good quality paper, uh, quite absorbent. The paper could give, uh, could get some juice, uh, could get some liquid from the plants and uh, thus become naturally dyed. Just um, very little stamping, just on the covers of uh, the main signatures so that it doesn't leak 
and just a little bit of decoration. The edges are torn because the more you use this journal, the more torn and worn it gets, as I have already mentioned that. And um, the signatures are not sewn inside uh, because the pages must be mobile. You can easily replace them and take them off and away, put them into your uh, ordinary journals and any other type of journals. This time the pages are made with uh, coffee stained paper, uh, old English textbook. It's also something like vintage book that I used here, so also you can use it not only for your plants, but also for your notes. A coffee dyed, coffee stained, different textures. This one is actually the dictionary page. It's thin, it can be good for getting extra liquid inside, keeping it there. Uh, some more pages. And I also added a piece of scrapbooking, a color quality pa paper, because I wanted to, but because I just wanted to, uh, to give it a change. And uh, this is, by the way, watercolor paper. So you see that some heavyweight paper um, also goes with a ta with smaller and uh, lighter pieces, pages, because in fact you need this you need this tight texture, a uh, tight pressure. You need to create the pressure and to make to keep your flowers and plants flat and again when the first signature is, is full with plants that you can put just between different pages uh, you can put and use this as a fix or closure for a plant which is too big probably and then uh, when it's full and, and when even it is not full as soon as you add a couple of plants here in order not, not to let them fall out just fix it with the closure that goes here it also goes with the journal. So this is the first signature. And uh, this is a very heavyweight cardboard, cardboard piece. Uh, it's an insert that I added. This time I added only one um, here. And I decided it will be enough probably. It will make it a little bit lighter, not so heavy. And uh, you know, and burlap belly belt if, if I'm right and uh, the pencil for your notes pencils are better than pens when you are writing on some um, uneven surfaces and when you are writing especially horizontally um, pencils are more safe more than that you can also you can take notes and write the date when the plant was picked and what you felt and where you did it and uh, who you were with. Just you use your flower press as and your flowers inside, your plants inside as memorabilia. That's that's what I actually do all the time. I um, don't only pick flowers, but I also then um, use them as memorabilia. This is one more page from an old English sample for children, uh, like English teaching, some, one more English, mm, puzzles, page, and um, vintage notebook page, uh, it's also from 90s, it's not coffee stained, and this is another, another beautiful lily of the valley, page of square book and paper of a kind of quality. I have already tried using coffee dyed pages with plants and they worked quite well. Uh, one more warning, so this one is again to put your flower and to fix it here. And so some seeds, you'll get some seeds with this one. There's a tiny warning about that. Please as soon as this signature, one signature is full, it might be a better idea to take it out and put it in just an ordinary, uh, under an ordinary pile of books. And, or you can leave it here, uh, but definitely it will be a great idea to leave it at night, for example, open, with uh, not uh, pressed too much. Uh, sometimes you need to air it. 
because if it's if you have too many plants inside it's more for collecting plants and uh, getting them home and keeping them for some time while you're traveling but if you want to get a better effect and if you want your flowers and your plants not plants not to get moldy not to get brownish preserve their color it's better to uh, change the uh, paper around uh, from time to time to let them um, get rid of extra moisture and one more signature actually there are four signatures uh, 22 pages in each signature um, so it's 88 pages and I you should count how many sides 196 sides to write so also write freely it's no problem if you write here something from the Soviet Union I see. it's an old book yes it's a school book in English and um, the last signature um, well, one more some composition book pages and one more scrapbooking paper page well there's the pictures of not the picture the pages here are very much the same and the main idea is to keep it functional so I didn't decorate because it's not the main idea of that book and uh, I have four paper clips big hinges of paper clips here and a closure again yes one more time if you if you don't know the structure the com composition construction of this type of journals you know they are loose here the pages are not fixed you can easily replace them with any other signature you can make yourself uh, out of the list of different pages uh, out of the pile of different pages and papers uh, if this string gets loose also you can easily replace it with any other stronger tighter string so this is the first one it goes first the black one mm. and uh, yes I have probably forgotten to add one here but it will also have uh, yeah it has the name Yes, property of. I don't need to add any more tags inside. I decided I have forgotten to add it. Yes, it is here. So this is the first one. Uh, the second one, um, which says perfect day. Yeah, something like that. Perfect day. Um, the principle, the construction is very much the same, but the pocket is only on the back. I mean the outer pocket for any uh, big size fat stuff like uh, scissors or twigs anyway by the way when you close it fix it with the closure you will get them safely securely fixed and uh, moss imitation um, and the pages inside it goes like this this one is also a pocket let me see where it is opened here uh, pocket for notes, uh, tags, or just anything you consider. Um, this is very rough, uh, kind of. Uh, I keep forgetting. Uh, canvas, yes, it's it's uh, canvas. It's very very rough and heavy. I guess uh, it gets very good feeling. And all the same four signatures with the same principle of arrangement of papers with torn edges uh, with a combination of heavyweight and lightweight paper and some scrapbooking pages all are distressed coffee stained some of the pages have flips to enable securing the plants inside and also you have four paper clips or hinges to fix the signatures when they are full. Uh, while I'm showing this this journal I will tell you I'm waiting on the delivery. I think I will have to do that every time. 
but I'm not sure when you watch this video. Anyway, when you watch this video, that maybe want to go over. I mean, the facts, some more scrapbooking paper page. Uh, as for now, today is uh, the 17th of May. Uh, the delivery from Belarus, I mean, um, postal delivery is closed for the majority of countries because we don't have direct communication I mean, flights. Uh, normally they say that they normally deliver the mail with the passenger flights and as there is no passenger air uh, transfer now, uh, communication now, as they say, nobody takes our mail and we don't deliver to the USA now, we don't deliver to, the Can to Canada, to Australia and many other countries. But uh, it can change every day now, any. Every day I keep going to our post office site to check whether which countries they have added to the list. And as soon as they are there, I add them to the shop, to my Etsy shop delivery. I opened my Etsy shop not so long ago. Now I can deliver to France, Spain, some European countries, in fact, very little, very few, but still they can be delivered there, but that's it, nothing more. Anyway, I will send all these journals, I will post all these journals there, and uh, please, if you're interested, you can uh, have a look from time to time and see the updates, a beautiful, beautiful flower, and um, uh, with a dragonfly. Because, first of all, I write everything in the description of the shop. I usually, or announcement, as, as they call it, uh, I usually write the updates and the delivery status from my country. So, one more belly band. You can find everything there. Um, because, you know, it can be not... Oh, yeah, I have forgotten this big card. You know, very have weight that is used to keep your flowers plant. Actually, once again, this insert keeps your plants flat. So when you are done with some pieces, just put it below uh, in order to make this, you know, sandwich. Um, okay. And the last one. This one says hello, and uh, let me open it for you and keep on talking about the delivery. So delivery this time is just this type of pocket, this one, and uh, inside also there is a pocket, you could just put anything inside, I wouldn't like to waste your time on opening and closing. Uh, this pocket opens from here, and uh, the same type of um, signatures. So let me tell more a couple more phrases words about the delivery. Um, even when they open the delivery, they cannot guarantee that uh, they they keep saying that they cannot guarantee the uh, deadlines because the delivery services of the countries that take. The parcels can also be somehow delayed because uh, the delivery can be delayed due to some, you know, restrictions or due to uh, some mm, post workers not okay because they don't have just have enough post offices probably who can get your mail in places or problems with delivery for example they kept saying that they have some issues uh, with uh, delivery across different countries it means that uh, even when the parcel the package leaves in my country it's not guaranteed that in your country it will be de delivered it can get stuck somewhere it's only not it's not only buying from Belarus it's for sure buying from Russia. They say that they are facing now a lot of issues with that as well. And um, mm, this time it's, the problem is not only on our side, but also 
on the site of the delivery service or post service of uh, the country, recipient country. I hope that will be fixed uh, quite soon and maybe in June or at least in June they will open the delivery again and uh, I will be able to send everything and to send the happy mail that I have piling up for the countries that are now, now closed. That's why, you know, it's like, it sounds really, really sad and bad because, in fact, they do have some communication. They do have some trade cargoes that they carry to different countries. But who cares? It's all about the commercial use of stuff. And they don't care about the, the smaller entrepreneurs or craftsmen or just 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 people who want to try to help each other to comfort or support each other sending some stuff and they just it's not their priority you know so that's it that's the last uh, of the three let me see the order so first this one will be point one this will be number two this will be number three um, they will go to Etsy. Maybe they are already there. I'm not sure. I still need to deal with the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, didn't get too bored with my chatting. I tried to speak fast today, not to sigh too much, not to uh, not to be too wordy. Um, if you have any questions, just write below the video. Stay safe, enjoy your spring, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.